Hey friends, welcome to your channel. If you love sniper games, this video is just for you. Let's take a look at the best sniper games together and see which ones can turn us into professional sharpshooters. So what's your story? You're a mystery. Who are you? Man who's gonna kill you. Splinter Cell. Blacklist is one of the most polished and best looking stealth games available. Players take on the role of Sam Fisher, an elite special ops soldier who can take down enemies in multiple ways. While players most likely utilize his hand-to-hand -hand takedowns and silenced pistols to clear out enemies, there are several good opportunities for sniping, like on the Opium Farm mission. It's the right to defend our laws. Take the shot, Grim. By breaking them. Sam can use lethal and non-lethal rifles to snipe enemies at a distance while staying silent and completing his missions. Blacklist holds up as one of the best-looking games in the genre, with stunning animations and challenging artificial intelligence. Every takedown feels satisfying on the more challenging levels. To do whatever it takes to protect our country. The fifth freedom is mine alone. I am Sam Fisher. I am a splinter cell. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Launched as one of the biggest console exclusives for the Xbox Series Xe's, Starfield is a science fiction RPG mechanically similar to Bethesda's previous work with the Elder Scrolls and Fallout series. As expected, Starfield offers players multiple ways to play and take down enemies. However, eliminating enemies using stealth and sniping is the most satisfying form of combat available. Putting skill points into stealth, marksmanship, sharpshooting, and sniper certification makes the player's character a deadly force to be reckoned with in Starfield. However, if players include the chameleon trait through skills or a mirrored spacesuit, they will feel like the hunters from the Predator movies. That's why we're here. To discover what's out there. We are human beings. Each and every one of us. This must not go on. This injustice must end. Deus Ex, Mankind Divided is a cyberpunk-themed action RPG where the player has multiple choices for playing styles. Players can covertly take down enemies with special attacks that can subdue or kill enemy guards. The brutal approach is satisfying. However, Deus Ex is at its best when using stealth, sneaking up on and taking down enemies with a scoped weapon. Sometimes, you just have to let go and embrace what you've become. Several missions take place indoors, but the environments are large, with several enemies patrolling strategically for the player to take down. The enemy AI is surprisingly adept, but they do follow patterns that can be studied for the best approach. Whether players utilize a lethal or a non-lethal approach, Deus Ex has the right tools for the job. This should be your fight as well, brother! <laughs> The promise of a golden age is over! If you can hear me, you've got to get everyone off this island. These things are waking up. First launched in 2007, Crisis was the gold standard for graphical performance, usually requiring an expensive PC to get it working at an acceptable level. 
thankfully, that is no longer the case, and it runs nicely on last generation systems. It is still a good looking game compared to modern titles like Far Cry 6. Whatever they're doing, there'll be no Earth left. The ground rules have changed. Like the Far Cry series, Crisis is at its best when players execute enemies with the wealth of stealth mechanics provided by the protagonist's supersuit. The sniping is excellent and more satisfying, thanks to the enemy soldier's awareness on the battlefield. The large environments offer several methods and opportunities to scope and eliminate enemies. The AI is challenging and works together in trying to bring the protagonist down. Played, right? Crisis offers enough abilities and powers to make the player feel like they are the apex predator and still stunning environments in the game. You and me, Marine, we don't get to die just yet. We gotta go back. Back where we're needed. Are you concerned about the terroristas who call themselves Libertad? At launch, Far Cry 6 was criticized for being more of the same, but in many ways, it was a culmination of Far Cry's best bits into one game. It dropped many irritating aspects and streamlined them into a more rewarding experience. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the fear. Furthermore, the implementations of stealth and sniper mechanics are the best in the series. Many rifles in the game can be modified and upgraded into sniper-like weapons. Dedicated sniper rifles have exploitable strengths and weaknesses. As a result, guns feel unique and different, adding a sense of weight and feel. I am not fearless, but I promise you one thing, I will be fearless. There are lions, there are lambs. Ooh, but be rude. You are a lion. And we eat the fucking lambs. Launched alongside the C4 version of Hitman 3, its VR owners could play Hitman VR using the CR headset. The VR version does not cut any corners, and the open world is still a sandbox for players to execute their strategies and plans. It's personal. As a result, using weapons like the sniper rifle feels more immersive than ever, making the player feel even more like a secret agent. Movement can feel janky, but sniping targets in VR is an exceptional experience that brings the world of Hitman to life in a real first-person experience. The enemy had surrounded me. The only way out now was through them. Sniper Elite VR puts the players back into the Italian setting of the fourth in the game series. This time, players are participating as members of the Italian resistance. The throwaway story is B-movie level, but the action, open levels, and sniper mechanics are superb. Sniper Elite VR has an accessible arcade-like feel compared to the console version, as it rewards the player for their creativity and stylish kills. More importantly, handling the rifle is accessible to all and feels natural and satisfying. SFAR owners also benefit from using the aim controller, which adds a layer of almost unparalleled immersion. Change the course of a war. Test of a person's true value. Death. Facing. Staring it down. <sighs> Johnny. I got you. Cyberpunk 2077 has been subject to quite a bit of criticism for its complicated launch issues. 
However, many of those issues have been fixed, and players can have a relatively trouble-free and immersive experience to enjoy the brutal combat system with amazingly unique weapons. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. Some of the best weapons in the game are the sniper rifles, which offer players a great way through the game if they prefer a more stealthy approach. The breakthrough sniper rifle, for example, can shoot through concrete walls, and the Ashura smart sniper even fires guided missiles that can seek out headshots automatically. The expansion, Cyberpunk 2077. Phantom Liberty takes the espionage-like approach even further with one of the best spy stories in modern gaming, making stealth and sniping even more within the story. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do so you don't miss out on more great game reviews. Until the next video, take care and happy gaming. Psycho friend did. We didn't need all this cocksucking attention, damn it.